Roswell, New Mexico, which a lot of people think is famous because of the supposed space aliens that landed here in the 1940s, but horse racing people know better. This is the birthplace of Hall of Fame jockey, Mike Smith. He grew up just down the road in Dexter. We met his family today, talked a little bit about what Mike Smith was like growing up and what got him started in the business. Uh, let's go along on the journey. I dropped him off in the front of the building and it was just a just one long building of the, high, of the high school, you know, we didn't have that many kids. My brother would be at the other side of the building, so he'd just go walk down the hallway, so people would see that he was there, I guess, and he would go straight down the back door. My brother would pick him up and bring him to the barn stalls, and that's where the principals would find him. Two or three, he wanted stick horses, rocking horses, toy horses, whatever it was he could get a hold of. And he used his younger brother for a horse, too. <laughs> I mean, essentially, this is where he spent his childhood. Yeah. We, uh, we also have, my grandparents have had a ranch about 15 miles, 20 miles um, that way. And the west when we first moved you know, into the area, that's where we were, was over there. But essentially, whenever he got involved with horses and stuff, this is where he spent most of his time. My other cousins, they'd, they would want to avoid coming here because they know that they'd get put to work. Mike was the only one willing to, to do it. What he did to start, to start with, he knew how to break horses, he knew how to, how to handle horses, and that's what, that's what made it good. The fact that he worked with the horses here yeah. too? Oh yeah, yeah, he worked yeah. with the horses here. Yeah. Since he was a kid, he wanted, he wanted to break out of the gates for two years. And he used to sit on the horse, let me, let me go out, let me go out. I said, no, you're not, not yet. When I did, he broke out of like a profession. It kind of takes you back to when those feelings were scared because I never, I never really liked for him to, to ride. If it wasn't for him riding now, I probably would never watch horse racing. To me, it's just, I guess it's the first time I watched jockeys fall. It just um, became something that I was just afraid of. So he doesn't, you know, get upset if I'm not in a certain place when he's riding a big race because he knows how nervous I am. You know, when he was crossing the finish line and just knowing that he won the Derby, just all of a sudden, this whole area flashes through your mind. This, you know, this starting gate, you know, this this track, this little, you know, little town, and not even a town, just an area in the middle of New Mexico, where he came from. To go from that to that to just, you know, just everything just kind of, you know, flashed. You can't help but be, be proud of him, just knowing how hard he's worked and how dedicated he, he's been to his to his craft. You know, just it's just. Whatever he's set his mind to, he, he's going to accomplish it, no matter what it is. 